comes to my mind uh, when I think of Washington DC is the 930 Club. Um, always the 930 Club. Um, you know, where, where we grew up was, was, was a suburb of DC, but it was a good, you know, hour, hour and 20 minutes away that we grew up from DC. Um, but DC, even more than Baltimore, DC was the city that, that we would go to. My grandparents lived in DC. Uh, when we were younger, um, and uh, I would ride around D.C. with my granddad, who was just an awesome guy, man. He was this old school guy that uh, he would deliver coffee. That's what he did. That was his job in his truck, and he would always take one of us with him on Saturdays, and uh, you know would always be like, "Granddad, take me, take me." You know, and you get to ride around D.C. At, with your, with my granddad and deliver this deliver coffee for Wilkins Coffee Company. Uh, so my grandma worked there, um, and um, you know, so he would ride around D.C. and tell you know tell 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 me stories about you know the city and um, different like fights that he had got into you know over there on that corner and different you know things that he did when he was younger and. Um, um, so um, when I got old enough to go to a show, the first show I, that I went to at the 930 Club was Beck. I saw Beck on um, right after that first record that he had put out. Um, and then um, I was amazed that, you know, because the, the first show that I went to was at the Patriot Center, it was the Beastie Boys. When I got to go to a show at the 930 Club, I mean, I was blown away, you know, just being in the crowd. And then I saw, I saw Goldfinger, uh, the Blue Meanies, and Weston, these bands that were on tour with Goldfinger. Oh, and Real Big Fish, um, and that show was awesome. That that was like one of the shows that really, really. That was when I, was, you know, like so excited about being in a band, and um, it was the dream was always to play the 930 Club, and that stretch. The stretch from uh, New York Avenue to Florida, down to U Street, down right by where the 930 Club is. And that stretch of DC is the stretch I know the best. Because um, it was always like straight to the 930 Club. That was like where we went, you know, the 930 Club. And the Black Cat, which was close to, close by. Um, uh, one time I saw Dave Grohl walking out of the Black Cat. It was like the coolest thing ever, you know. Uh, uh, and everyone would talk about it. People they would see around the city, Dave Grohl's, you would always hear his name, like, oh, Dave Grohl, I saw him there, I saw him there. And um, Ian McKay from Minor Threat, you'd always hear stories about places he hung out. And, um, and when I got, uh, when I started getting tattooed, I started going to Jinx Proof, which is a tattoo shop on M Street in Georgetown. Um, and, and M Street in Georgetown is one of my favorite streets in the world. I mean, I love that street still to this day. Um, when, I, when we first got signed, I bought an apartment. Um, and it was really close to Georgetown because uh, that's where I wanted to be. And I hung out in Georgetown every night, you know. And um, to this day, some of my best friends um, are some of the guys that I just, you know, really, you know, just being young and stupid, you know, wasting time with. And uh, but some of my best memories. So uh, HF festivals in DC, RFK Stadium. First HF festival I went to was at RFK Stadium. Those shows were special, you know, that was like, that was everyone who lived in the D.C. area. The HF Festival was kind of like, almost like Christmas Day. It's the one day of the year that everyone who was into music, uh, that's the day everyone waited for. When the tickets went on sale, you had to get HFS tickets, and then you went and it was like, it was like a holiday. The HF Festival was a local holiday you know, like for everyone in that area. Um, and getting to play the H Festival, that's why we, we shot the festival song video there. So getting to play there was just the dream. You know, that was the, that was the dream. That was like, the, to, and to actually play, you know, and get like a headlining slot on the H Festival was our, I mean, I think we still hold the record for the band that played the H Festival the most times, um, which is something I'm proud of. and. You know, but the dream was, you know, in, in our area, to play the 930 Club and to play the H Festival. That was it. That was making it. And so, I guess we made it, you know, because we got to do both of those things, so.
DC to me is, um, it's really a special city. There's nowhere else like it. And I mean, it's kind of uh, where I have my earliest memories of kind of when I was becoming, you know, a young man, like going from being a kid to like, you know, growing up and being out on my own and making my own decisions. And a lot of those decisions were made in DC.